All right, hey, what is going on, guys? Dwayne Gibson here, and welcome to Gibson's Beard Adventures. And on my channel, you're going to find beard product reviews. I do some beard melon unboxings now and again. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I post a new video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the company JOFM Beard, or the Jolly Old Fat Man Beard Company. Now, just a little bit about the company. JLFM Beard is a newer company. They are out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. And the owner's name is Brian, a.k.a. Bam, a.k.a. Santa. So, that's right. I said Santa because every year, the past few years, he's been doing Santa, bleaching his beard out, and everything else. What I have here is the first letter that I got with the first package with this nice little note. And it gives here on the bottom, it gives the uh, some of the scents and descriptions. But what I'm interested in is up here for you all. Okay. This tells a little bit about why he does what he does. Says, I came up with this recipe because I am Santa during the Christmas season. I play the part as Santa in my own Christmas display here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. I come out and take pictures with the kids and try to give everyone that visits something they can remember. I do this all free of charge for the community. We do take no da donations, but everything we collect during the display is donated to a local pet charity. If interested, you can like them on Facebook at uh, facebook.com backslash Christmas on Amberwood. Okay, and I'll put the link down in the description for that. With all that being said, I have to be careful with the products I, I use on my all-white beard. My beard is naturally red, so the dyeing or coloring process can take a toll on my beard. To help keep my Santa beard healthy and bright white, I needed to come up with a white beard balm that would also condition and make my beard soft. Kids love pulling on my beard to make sure I am the real thing, and most products make it pretty greasy. My beard balm will melt in your hands when rubbed together. It is really soft when you receive it. Put it in the fridge for a little while. It will harden. Uh, and it goes into a bit about the balm's conditioning agent there. A little goes a long way. I prefer putting it on when my beard is dry. Put it on at night and wake up to a soft beard. This is going to be a lighter hold for a beard balm. The oils are brand new to JOFM Beard. He's been working on them for some time now. Uh, two different oils available in each scent. The white label, which is white in color, catering more to Santas. And the black label for everyone that a colored oil will not affect. You may see little white bits. That is just the BTMS, which I will go over with all that. Uh, that is not fully emulsified. Once you put it in your hand, it will instantly melt. And it does. So we'll go over all that when I go over the ingredients and the rest of the stuff for the products. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of background about the company. Uh, that's why he does what he does. You know, it's just it's pretty amazing. The ingredients are as follows. Okay. We have... Oh, spoiler alert. Y'all see that right there? And I'll read these off for you. Okay, we have meadow foam seed oil, apricot kernel oil, sweet almond oil, hemp seed oil, shaolin oil, and BTMS 50. Now, a quick cover of BTMS, which you should probably really Google if you want to get the deep information on it, but it is a emulsifying conditioner. It's naturally derived, and it's going to add thickness and softness like you wouldn't believe. So, if that's throwing you off seeing that on the ingredient list, don't. That right there is what's making this special. So we'll go over the rest of them. And on his bombs, all right, see that there? We have BTMS 25, mango butter, shea butter, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, apricot kernel oil, and beeswax. Now, the difference in the BTMS 25 and the BTMS 50 is one of them is 25% of the active ingredient and the other one is 50% of the active ingredient 
which they say could be a little bit better, adding more uh, thickness to the hair. So, I don't know. I have to look that one up, y'all. Mm, God, I love that scent. But that goes over the ingredients. The consistency. We have about a medium, almost medium thick oil. The thicker side of a medium. All right, it is a little cloudy. And that's the BTMS in it, which does not bother it whatsoever. As soon as it drops in the hand and it's warm, it's gone. And it's just gone. All right, and the consistency of his bombs here are almost butter-like. All right, just like that. And it melts down like you wouldn't believe. All right, it's just gone. God, that's such a great scent. And I forgot about to show you the run of the oil. I'll take my word for it. A medium run there, medium thick run. All right, so for the consistency of this, mm, it's just, I love it. I love the consistency of both of these. It's awesome. Through the pricing right fast, the one ounce bottle of oil, beard oil will cost $15.25 on the website, while a two ounce beard balm will cost $17.25 on the website. With current limited time only, $30 or anything over $30 is free shipping. So if you buy an oil and you buy a balm, it's getting shipped to you for free at this current time. So you might want to jump on that while you still got that going on. I don't know how limited that's going to be. So for the pricing, I'd say it's right at market. So that's pretty awesome. All right, now that we've gone over those technical parts, uh, we're going to go over the feel. The feel in my beard. Now, I'm going to tell you all right now, these ha are in the running for some of the top feel in beard for me. All right, the, the conditioning properties of the oil and balm and even together with the BTMS in there is so conditioning. All right, the beard balm alone, I use it at night. I've used it. I've been using this instead of a butter at night. And the softness is unbelievable. Okay. It's like, I don't know. It's hard to describe how the softness really is. It's just, you'd have to try it out for yourself. And I know other reviewers have said the same exact thing. It's just, it's, it's awesome. All right. The feel and beard for the oil and for the balm is absolutely amazing. All right, this stuff, I don't know what else I could really say about it. You would honestly really have to try it for yourself. But for me, this is in my top in oil and balm, and the balm is almost like a butter. You can, be, you can use this at night like a butter. And the smells that he has are fantastic. Mm. I love that nice list. We'll go over that here in just a second, though. But yeah, feeling beard, absolutely amazing. Scent profiles, description, longevity. What do I have here? All right, so go over quickly the names of the uh, products I'm going over with you. Okay, we have the nice list, which I have in the oil. And balm. Sorry about that light. Hold on a second. A little bit off there. Nice list. Oil and balm. And then I have Run Run Rudolph in the oil and balm. I have two samples here of balms. One is Sleigh Ride. And the other is Elf. And then 
One that I'm going to quickly go over. Um, I think he's thinking about actually putting this on the website. I hope he does because I know some people that's going to absolutely love this scent. But we'll go over all that here in just a second. All right, now for the nice list. Okay, the nice list is a cologne scent. It is a really nice cologne scent. Okay, I, I don't know what else to, to say. Everything in here, like most colognes, it blends together so well you can't just pick it apart. This is just a really nice cologne scent. It's not overpowering, but yet it's not light. It's just, it's perfect. And the scent on this with the balm is definitely a 10 plus hour scent. Now for the Run Run Rudolph, this is a, see that there? See my beautiful winter label there? This is the one I picked out. Run Run Rudolph is his uh, coffee scent, which is uh, espresso with some chocolate mixed in. And it's described as thinking of a good cup of Cuban coffee, just what Rudolph needs to get him through the night. And that's what you get, okay? This scent here is... You, you, you get that espresso, it's like that dark, rich coffee. Not like a bitter coffee, though. This is like one of those really good coffees. And you get you get those hints, hints of chocolate in there. It almost reminds me kind of like a waffle cone. I don't know. I'm going to be crazy, but it does. It reminds me just a little bit of a waffle cone, like a coffee waffle cone. But, mm, it's just an absolutely amazing scent. All right, when it comes to coffee scents, this has made it into my top ones. All right, now, for the bombs on both of those scents are, are steady. I actually think the bombs might be a little bit stronger on some of these, but that's just me. Now, for Elf, now, this is the one that made it happen for me when I did that uh, impression of Bearded America's reaction to the Elf scent. Oh, and it's you get maple, you get bacon, and there's it says waffle and sugar in here, but I think those just kind of mellow it out just a tad. But oh, that maple and bacon is like freaking breakfast. It's such an amazing scent. You would really have to try it. It, it really is. And for the sleigh ride, no, yeah, for the sleigh ride. Now, this, this is really fresh and clean. I know some have called it woodsy, which I can get, but this really does remind you of going out, it's winter, you know, when you smell that, that, that really, that cold air and you breathe in and you get that bite at the back of your nose. Yeah, and then it's got all those other scents in there with it. It's just really fresh. It's nice. It's, oh. It's a great scent. I like wearing this one at night as well. And, okay. Now to go over the one that he sent me here. In my last order. That's Misfit Toys, which is his Oud scent. And... Mmm. Okay. At a bottle, you get that Oud, but there's that... There's blackberry in it, and there's quite a few other things going on here. It's just an absolutely amazing scent. It is strong at first, and then it kind of mellows out and backs up. That blueberry comes, or not blueberry, but that blackberry comes out. It's almost kind of like a, almost a colonish blackberry. It's just really nice. Okay, this scent for me lasted about five to six hours. I got six hours, I think it was yesterday, out of it. And, yeah. So, four, anywhere between four to six hours, I would say, on the set profile. Now, Bam, the owner, he says he only gets a couple hours out of this set. Now, scenting is very subjective. So, 
you would if he puts it on the website you would just have to try it out for yourself to see but even if it doesn't last long for you i know you will not be disappointed with this scent it is absolutely phenomenal so on my scent impressions there you go for the ones i got run run rudolph uh sleigh ride elf nice list and misfit toys conclusion now for my conclusion on the jofm beard company or the jolly old fat man is this all right this company here gets an automatic five out of five flames on my fire scale okay with an added for overall because this is an awesome company with an added sixth flame for the feel alone the softness that these products gave to my beard overnight and even like if i use the balm at night for my butter basically that next morning i get up i can comb through my beard and i can go at least four hours without having to put anything in because it's still that soft i'm not kidding i stick my reputation on it okay for me that's what this product does okay for the bombs for the oils it's just absolutely amazing. A balm that works like a butter, but yet has some hold, but it's yet not called a butter, is just, oh, it's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I would love to see him actually come up with a butter. I would love to see him come up with like a wash and a conditioning co-wash that's got that BTMS in there. I'm telling you, I think that would be absolutely phenomenal with some of these scents that he's got. And these are not all Christmas scents, folks. You've got cologne scents. You've got coffee scents here. You've got unique scents that can be used any time of the year. So, yes, they may be Christmas themed, but this is definitely more than that. So, until next time, y'all, have a good one and live every day as an adventure.